Hello YouTube, this is um, James, and I'm back with another video. Um, this segment of the video that I'm about to um, do for y'all is something for GM. Um, I love GM muscle cars, so I'm going to show you some of the muscle cars that I have. Some of the mid-size and full-size cars they came out with back in the uh, you know 60s and 70s. Um, starting with this car. This is a 1967 Chevelle SS. White exterior with the vinyl top. It has a black interior. Also, it has the red line tires. You know, those were very popular back in the um, muscle car era. This is also the Malibu, uh, the Malibu Chevelle. Yes, they put those two names together at that time. So the motor that was in here was the uh, 396 big block. It came out in variety of variety of horsepower horsepower uh, numbers. Um, I think the the base horsepower was 325 horse, and the big horsepower you can get like three 375 horse, uh, more than 400 pound feet of torque. I can't really get into the numbers right now. I think it's between four. I know it's between 400 pound, pound, pound feet of torque. But this car was a pretty, pretty decent car for its time. It's actually started. It's actually started uh, some of the, the racing down um, Woodward back in the day in the muscle car era. Um, so this is. That's the 67 um, Chevelle. Now I'm going to go to uh, a couple of full-size cars. This right here I'm about to show you. It's a 1968 Chevrolet Impala SS. Um, this is one of the full-size vehicles they, they came out with back in the day. This, this car was a cruiser. It was a, it was a bruiser too. As far as a uh, muscle car era, you can get any engine with this car. You can get the, the smallest engine you get is, is inline six. I think it's two sixty two inline six, up to if you if you can if you do the paperwork right, you probably would have got like a four twenty seven on the hood for these cars. But uh, with the majority of the big block engine that was uh, for this car was uh. 396 is like the the Chevelle Malibu. But this one is very unique. Um, it's a silver metallic with the vinyl top with the black interior. Now this one has the Rally Corvette rims with the white walls and big block 396. Um, like I said, probably between the horsepower between. The horsepower rating was between 325 horse all the way up to 375. Um, so it was pretty fast cars for that time. And you know, for a big boat like this, you need that type of horsepower. Show you another Impala SS. Actually, it's not an SS. It's a Impala four door. Have you ever seen this car before? This is one of the Hollywood series that I that I own. From uh, the, the show Supernatural. Um, when I first seen this car, I had to get it. Because, uh, you know, Greenlight, they always come out with some unique uh, castings. And uh, this one right here, I had to get They also, I seen a 118th scale uh, collector car for this series. But um, it's, it's just like the car from the show. Black and black exterior with the, with the um, black interior. With the tan... Um, with the tan, it looks nice. This also came with either a 327 or a big block um, 396. But if you was a if you was a hot rider, you would get these cars. You probably put a 454 in the hood of it if it if, if it was a, a V6 car. All right, here is another Impala. This is a drop top 68 Impala. This one right here, 
all these these two right here are green lights this one is a, a giant lightning this one is a giant lightning too so um they, they, they're different between sizes of the cars but this one i had to get it because it's a drop top i love the drop tops um it's in a baby blue metallic same color interior um show you the engine Got the uh, probably 396 in there on the hood. I had this car for like a couple of months, but um, that's big horsepower right there, and it's a convertible, so you can drop the top and still be somebody at the light. Now, I got two more cars for, for, from a Chevrolet. Um, this one is this one to me. Um, it's one of my favorite in the GM line, uh, far as Chevrolet. Um, me personally, I'm more of a Pontiac type of guy, far as uh, GM uh, cars. Even though I still love the, the uh, Chevrolets and the and the uh, Buicks and the and the um, Oldsmobiles, but um, to me, Pontiac styling is way more unique than Chevrolet and Oldsmobile to me. But um. This car right here was the king of the road at the time. It was also the king of the muscle cars for this era. This is 1970 LS was six 454 Chevrolet SS. I got this on um, eBay. I had to get it. Um, very unique piece. I haven't seen a I've seen a um, SS Chevelle in a minute. Of course, it's got that big old 454 on the hood with a cowl induction. 450 horsepower, 500 pound feet of torque. This was a real screamer. Um, it was two cars. This, 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 I'm about to uh, tell you something about GM. At this time, the, mo the, the horsepower wars was, was getting huge at that time. Also, 1970 was the last year of the muscle car to me. Um, I'm going to say 71 was the last year of the muscle car. You know, Pontiac was still pulling strings to make big horsepower. But that's, I'm going to probably say that in, in, in another segment. Um, this one and the Buick uh, Skylark. Well, I'm gonna call it the G G X the G S with the um stage two package. That this car and the G S with the stage two package had five hundred pound feet of torque. Those two cars was the was the was the fastest cars for GM at that time. Combined with the Corvette, I'm gonna put the Corvette in there too. The Corvette, my, the Corvette probably was a little bit quicker because it's, you know it's Corvette. So hey, but um, this is one of my favorite. GM uh, cars in the segment for our Chevrolet. Let's put that right there. Now, let's go to another uh, car. Um, it was made in the 80s. You know, Horsepower Wars is over with. But this car was still unique to me. Um, if you have one, you can put some performance into it. But here it is. This is 1985. Um, Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS. This is a green light, um, blacked out edition. Um, these cars was was very popular for for its time, especially in NASCAR. Um, as far as performance, eh, I think New York, the, you get a mediocre 305 uh, HO, making probably like 180 horsepower. Uh, maybe maybe 175 horse, but it was it was big numbers for the for the 80s. So um, came with, but as far as anything else, you want the V8 with dual exhaust, and you want you want that little rumble to it. You can get this car. Um, there's also there's some more cars in this lineup, as far as Pontiac and Oldsmobile that you can get in a, like in like in a little nice package. I ain't gonna say performance package, but um, 
These cars are very probably still popular to this day. So people get these cars and put LS motors in them. They do that every day. Um, I don't know if you put an LS motor in this car or make it more faster than the, the than the old 305 it had in it with the with a nice little package. That's a, that would be a screamer car right there. And this is the end of the Chevrolet segment. Now we're gonna go to Pontiac, my favorite, my favorite brand of GM. First car that's supposed to start the muscle car craze. 1964. Well, I believe it's 1965. I'm sorry. Pontiac GTO. This one had a, a tri power. Um, I think a tri power automatic with the um, 2 3 carburetor uh, conversion, making I think 350 horsepower. 300. I think 350 horsepower. I think the uh, standard four barrels make it 300 and um, 335 horse, but you still make it 400 pound feet of torque. With uh, you either get a tri power automatic or you can get a four speed. Um, this car is very, very unique. I like this uh, car. Um, like I said, I still have love hate relationship as far as being for this car being a, the first muscle car. That's ever as has have ever been made. Um in my last video I said um it was a certain car from Mopar that uh they they bring they brought out that to me was the first muscle car, but I'm not gonna get into that. This is GM that, that we're talking about right here. But this one started all. I'm gonna start going back to the GTO thing. This is a nineteen sixty seven drop top. This one also has the 400 in it. The other one had a, had a 389. They bumped it up to 400 uh, uh, cubic cubic inches. Um, this is all. This all ripped. This four barrel, 350 horse, 440 pound feet of torque. You also get the the same tri the uh, tried and true two three barrel carburetor conversion uh, with this car. Um, very unique. This right here is a very unique piece. This was this also is, is a Hollywood uh, Greenlight Hollywood collection. It's a it's a MacGyver uh, car. Um, I'm not not really a big MacGyver fan, but I've seen the car. And I, don't, I don't have no drop top GTO, so I end up buying it. So it's a nice piece. It got the white tear with the black. Has it um, big block 400 on hood that under the hood of the bonnet it's a very unique piece it's, it's pretty decent i like this car got the aftermarket um wheels on there and go to the back but yeah i love pontiacs man these are nice 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 cars um Cut this video short. I'll be back in a few seconds um, to get done what I need to do as far as these GM cars. But um, keep on watching the video, and I'll be right back. See y'all later.